So Maltese cuisine is definitely a product of its surroundings. They're close to Italy and North Africa, and the cuisine has some influences from both of those places. So in this case, we're gonna start out by making what is basically an Italian meat sauce. Into a Dutch oven, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil. And just like any Italian sauce, we're gonna start with a diced onion. And we're gonna sweat that out until it gets translucent. Next up, we're going to throw in a few cloves of minced garlic. And we'll saute those as well until they're fragrant. Next up, I've got four slices of bacon. I'm using American-style streaky bacon, but considering the British influence on Malta, I'm guessing they meant British-style bacon rashers. So if you've got that on hand, go for it. But if you're using American-style bacon, try to avoid any hickory smoke or anything like that. Let's throw that in and saute it until the fat starts to render out a little bit. And then I've got about 200 grams each of ground beef and ground pork. Throw that in, start to chop it up with your spatula so that it breaks into little pieces and brown it on all sides. Once it's nice and brown, let's season it with some salt and some black pepper. You could also throw in some curry powder, which I think is some of the British influence in Maltese cuisine. Next up, I've got about 100 grams of tomato paste. So let's go a little bit at a time and start to mix it in. And once that's all mixed in, let's add in a can of crushed tomatoes. And as always, we want to rinse out the can with some water and get the rest of that in there. That'll help to dilute the sauce so it doesn't reduce too much and get too thick. So let's throw a cover on that and simmer it for about 20 minutes. Once 20 or 30 minutes have passed, turn off your cooktop and we're going to mix in 300 grams or a cup and a quarter of rinsed long grain rice. Be sure to rinse it to get all the extra starch off. And we're going to beat four eggs. Slowly stream that in and mix it in until it's incorporated. Next up, let's grease up a casserole dish or any sort of oven safe vessel and fill it up with our meat sauce rice egg mixture. In hindsight, you probably could have left it in the Dutch oven. Since the sides aren't really greased necessarily, it may have stuck to the sides a little bit more than we want. And now let's shave a bunch of Parmesan cheese on top as much or as little as you want. This will give a nice crispy top to it. Then we're going to throw it in a medium-high oven for anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. Just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get too crispy. So I'm pretty pleased with the way this came out. Uh, it looks a lot denser than I thought it would be. It was looking very liquidy when I threw it in the oven and I was like, Oh gosh, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna just be like a soggy mess when I pull it out? But it turned out perfectly. <laughs> Man, so it's it's so confusing to my brain. Growing up in an Italian household, uh, this could be something that Southern Italians would serve up. Um, we're not too rice focused, so it's definitely gonna be the North African influence on Maltese cuisine. It's like halfway between one of those Middle Eastern style uh, communal rice dishes and some sort of like Parmesan dish almost. You know, you've got your tomato sauce and your meat and your Parmesan cheese and the flavors are all <laughs> Italian right there, aside from the rice. It's like the one thing that's kind of like, what is this? Is it Italian? Is it Spanish? What are we dealing with right here? But it is definitely good and it's not hard to make at all. It's literally making a tomato sauce, throwing rice in it, throwing it in the oven. So do this. You're gonna have a meal for a week. It's tasty and hearty and uh, definitely worth the effort. So go for it. So the recipe link will be in the description below. And if you like this video and wanna see more international cooking videos, then hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.